Good afternoon, everybody. I'm checking in with you after we just finished our fiscal third quarter 2024 earnings report. Um, appreciate everyone's patience. Uh, better late than never, they always say. Uh, we were forced to delay just one day because due to our rapid growth, we upgraded our audit firm. Um, really appreciate the prior firm did a great job for us, but as we've kind of grown and matured, um, we found ourselves in need of a bigger national firm. So the folks at BDO jumped on board and it was a, uh, a process to get everybody uh, up to speed. And, and like a lot of new relationships, it took just an extra couple of minutes. A couple of things I wanted to highlight. Um, we had yet another quarter with over a hundred million dollars in revenue, which is a huge accomplishment considering we started this thing less than a decade ago. Um, that $104 million number represents 129% growth over the same quarter last year, which is exciting. Um, we also announced today on the call that our hash rate for our fleet has exceeded 22.3 exahash per second. Um, so not only do does that put us as one of the largest, if not the largest, um, vertically integrated self miners in North America, it also, combined with our efficiency, makes us the most efficient publicly traded miner uh, in the country. Um, we've given guidance that we expect to achieve our goal of 32 exahash by the end of the year. Um, thanks largely to the new machine purchases that we talked about, as well as expansion in Wyoming and Tennessee. And finally, long awaited great news that the 50 megawatt substation transformer at Sandersville is finally on its way and ready to energize that fleet. Um, we also announced today a $50 million partnership with Coinbase. That's real important to our team. Um, we feel like that it will take pressure off of using equity for growth and M&A and equipment purchases and give us a little bit more flexibility there. So it's a valuable tool and certainly being partnered with Coinbase is a huge win for us. Um, one of the things we talked about this quarter, we posted a red number um, on our earnings and, and a big portion of that was non-cash. Um, however, it's important to discuss, we took a, an impairment on our fleet what that means is we basically accelerated the depreciation on a number of the machines that we currently operate in our mining facilities. We did that, it was very purpose driven, and that is that each day there are only 450 Bitcoin available. And as we get closer to the next halving, we've got to keep in mind that this is the most Bitcoin we will ever produce um, per exahash or per megawatt. So efficiency is the most important metric that we run our, our operations by, both uptime up energy management, but also fleet efficiency. So by taking that depreciation or that impairment, what we're doing is taking all the less, eff less efficient machines off of our fleet and replacing them with machines that affect make more hash rate for less money, which results in greater profitability for all of us. Um, lastly, we talked about the fact that we ordered an additional 22.8 exahash of the new S21 XP immersion series of miners from Bitmain. Um, those are phenomenally efficient, um, operating at uh, at 13.5 joules per terahash. Don't mean to wax too technical there, but basically the average of most of the fleets of the major miners is closer to 30 joules per terahash. That means we can process a ton more data for the same amount of power than our peers. Last thing before I wrap up, um, I get a lot of calls about all the talk in our space about high performance computing and AI data centers. I thought it was interesting to note that Microsoft, one of the biggest companies in the world, spent $70 billion last quarter on CapEx just related to AI. So to think that a small scale miner would put themselves in the league to compete with the likes of Microsoft is a pretty big hill to climb. Additionally, as I mentioned, there are only 450 Bitcoin a day and that number will decrease again in about three and a half years. So we think that allocating resources to HPC and AI is a great opportunity for a lot of companies. Um, in fact, we have tier three data centers in our fleet that could be rapidly converted. We just feel 
like it's the highest and best use of our time and your capital to maximize and focus on what we do best. So with that, I want to thank you for your interest in CleanSpark. And again, I'd love to encourage you to reach out to us if, we have, if you have any questions that we can answer for you. My team are always excited to interact with shareholders. Thanks again for your patience for the delay, and I look forward to chatting with you soon.